Tonight's scripture reading is Joel chapter 3. For behold, in those days and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will enter into judgment with them there on behalf of my people in my heritage Israel, because he has scattered them among the nations and have divided up my land, and have cast lots for my people and have traded a boy for a prostitute, and have sold a girl for a wine and have drunk it. What are you to me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the regions of Philistia? Are you paying me back for something? If you are paying me back, I will return your payment on your head swiftly and speedily, for you have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried my riches into your temples. You have sold the people of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks, in order to remove them far from their own border. Behold, I will stir them up from the place to which you have sold them, and I will return your payment on your own head. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabians, to the nations far away, where the Lord has spoken. Proclaim this among the nations. Consecrate for war. Stir up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowchers into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am a warrior. Hasten and come, all you surrounding nations, and gather yourselves there. Bring your warriors, O Lord. Let the nations stir themselves up and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the surrounding nations. Put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Go in, tread, for the wine press is full. The vats overflow, for their evil is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near, in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon are darkened, and the sun and the stars withdraw their shining. The Lord roars from Zion, and utters his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth quake. But the Lord is a refuge to his people, a stronghold to the people of Israel. So you shall know that I am the Lord your God, who dwells in Zion, my holy mountain, and Jerusalem shall be holy, and strangers shall never again pass through it. In that day, the mountains shall drip sweet wine, the hills shall flow with milk, and all the stream beds with Judah, of Judah shall flow with water. And a fountain shall come forth from the house of the Lord in the valley and water, the valley of Chittim. Egypt shall become a desolation, and Edom a desolate wilderness. For the violence done to the people of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall be inhabited forever, and Jerusalem to all generations. I will avenge their blood, blood I have not avenged, for the Lord dwells in Zion. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 